This terrarium was simple. It was easy to construct. It was easy to make. It has been almost 15 years since I have returned to the hobby. I'm Max. I've been obsessed with ectotherm since I was a kid. And terrariums are just one part of the process. But I'm not an expert in terrariums. I'm new to this. I'm learning, just like you maybe. And this video is about how simple it really is, after some patience, some time, some research, how you can build your own microclimate, your own ecosystem in your home. So I went to Timu and I bought a cheap plastic terrarium and I got it here and I put it together. But this video isn't just about making a simple terrarium. It's about so much more. It's about my journey and how this has changed the course of my future. Now, like all things that are very cheap, you have to be careful about the quality. So getting this out of the packaging, I thought, well, it looked really simple or straightforward to put together, but I did need an extra product and that was super glue. And you'll see why. See, this was actually quite flimsy. When you put it all together, it's still split apart. So you need some adhesive to make sure it's strong and the ends and the corners and the edges actually stick together. So after some constant super gluing and ripping my fingers apart and having super glue stuck on my fingers for a few days, I finally got it all together, let it dry, and it actually was an epic little terrarium. Now I'm not saying that products off Timu are bad quality, in fact quite the opposite, my experience has been good. I do have a product link in the description which will give you a $100 bundle, so use my promo code, you'll get a $100 bundle, but if you don't like Timu, if you don't like buying things online or overseas, then that's fine too. So anyway, let's get this together, let's assemble it, and let's see what we can do with it. So one thing that they didn't tell me on Timu is that I needed power tools. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't need power tools, but I thought I'd add that in there just for a bit of fun. All right, it's ready to go. I wanted to do something a little bit different this video. I wanted to make a terrarium in the wilderness. So not at home, not in the comfort of my own home. I wanted to essentially make it for free to an extent. So I got my backpack out, I got on the bike, I went for a hoon with Old Fixter, and we went down to the local park. Now here is where I was gonna make the creation. Now I didn't do this because I was bored, I was running out of ideas. I wanted to inspire you just like someone once inspired me. A great YouTuber called Serpent Design. If you haven't seen his channel, check him out. But he inspired me to saying that you can make a terrarium for free. You can make a terrarium with anything outside. As long as you're safe, you're not going to any pesticide areas. Be careful what you put in there. Otherwise, do your research and just have fun with it. Now regardless where you are, the mechanics are all the same. You'll need a false bottom, or I'll call it the gravel layer. You'll need maybe another layer, like a drainage layer, which I've got some wood chips. And you'll also need soil, because if you want things to grow, like moss or little ferns or any other plantations, or maybe you want some soil bugs in there or clean up crew, you'll need three layers at least. Now I decided to keep this one really chill. I'm just adding some isopods into this. And isopods, maybe a couple of millipedes, and that's it. It's just gonna be something I'm gonna watch and grow over a few months and show you guys the progress months, months later. So I'm gonna have some small grasses, I'm gonna add some moss, a little bit of log, one leaf. It's just for the isopods to be able to feed. I'm gonna spray it, and that's exactly all I'm doing. So why am I doing all of this in these steps? Where did I learn all of this? Where does this knowledge come from? Well, it comes from research. And on YouTube, you've got some fantastic research options. All you have to do is type terrariums for beginners and you're away flying. Main reason I love this hobby is because it's super fun to watch other people do the same thing you do. Making terrariums, you learn from experts, you learn different techniques. And this is me actually from one of my other videos, making a terrarium that I still have today and I feature it later in this video. But why do I do this in the end? Because it's therapeutic. I love it. I, I'm passionate about it. And it transfers into other areas. So it's transferable skills into bigger and better and more complex environments.
And what are you trying to create? You're trying to create an ecosystem. You're trying to create microclimates. You're trying to create these tiny worlds and these tiny environments. That's the beauty of it. You've got nature in a bowl or in a square box or whatever you have. And like I said, you can transfer it into larger and larger and more complex environments. This is an example. This is a bioactive natural environment for native geckos in New Zealand. And it's all flourishing six months later. Everything is growing. Everything is thriving. And you can rinse and replicate that process with aquatic environments. So once again, heavily planted aquariums, aquascaping. It doesn't matter. All these fundamentals you'll learn in making a simple tiny terrarium will transfer into anything else you want to do in the future. And it might even inspire you. Who knows? Like I said at the beginning, I'm Max. I'm obsessed with ectotherms and have been since I was a kid. I had a little stint or gap between the hobbies, but now I'm back. And I'm more inspired and passionate than ever before. And I think it's what terrariums that brought me back to it. So this is my creations. This is what I do. It gives me peace. I find fulfillment and happiness in it. And I have some amazing and incredible animals in captivity. And these animals rely on me. They rely on me to keep them alive, to keep them in environments that replicate their natural environment as closely as I can. I don't do this because I want to, I do this because I have to. If they're happy, I'm happy. I hope I've inspired some of you. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope you found this interesting or fascinating. Either way, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Like I said, I love doing this shit. I'll keep doing it, and I hope you guys enjoy my channel. Stay tuned for the next one.